All right, internet. It's time you and I had a serious discussion. You know this has been coming for a long time. It's time we got things out in the open. It's time we talk about public nose picking. I was driving down the highway the other day and I got stuck in traffic. So I'm sitting in my car. I look in the rear view window and this guy's sitting in his minivan picking his nose like there's no tomorrow. Seriously, like he was trying to scratch his brain. It was like, I think I might find gold up here with the pinky finger. Like, you know it's serious when a guy takes his pinky finger and starts digging up. Th Why do people think that I can't see them when they're in their car? But still, this guy's sitting in his minivan, talking on his cell phone, and digging for gold. I, I need more euphemisms for nose picking. But either way, it was disgusting. I know that in some countries, public nose picking is okay, but I don't live in one, so stop it. Not only that, he's sitting next to his kid. Ew, 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 there's somebody even in the car with you and you're doing that? Ugh, like that poor kid probably is the nose picker in school. I, I feel so bad for that kid. No one's gonna sit with that kid at lunch. So now we've got two bad, no, three, Bad example set for this kid, okay? One is driving and talking on the cell phone at the same time, which is bad and you shouldn't do it. Two is picking your nose in public because that's also bad and you shouldn't do it and it's nasty and where was he gonna, you know, put the... Ugh. And three, he's driving with both hands occupied. One on the phone, two, digging for gold. What, other, what, what else can you say to describe nose picking? Besides nose picking and digging for gold, scratching your brain. Either way, it's disgusting. It's a terrible example and I don't want to see you doing it. I don't care if you pick your nose occasionally, like in private, that's your business. That's, you know, wash your hands, that's fine. But in public, no. No, no, no. I don't need to see that. Keep your hands where I can see them. Thank you. Anyway, hi, Internet. At least we haven't talked in a while. I moved to a new apartment. The walls are pretty bare so far because um, I don't have a hammer in which to put up the, the two posters that I own. You can, I have a bookshelf with pretty books on it and mostly movies. If you look closely, you can see the entire Harry Potter series in order. Woo! I'm so cool. And my lovely couch. I'd show you more of the apartment, but this is the only corner that's actually clean. And that is possibly just so I can make a web video. <laughs> Oops. My hair's doing a weird fair faucet type thing today. I'm not sure if it's cool or not. Either way, I was too lazy to do anything about it, so you have to deal. So, uh, I got a new apartment. I started a new job, and my hair looks like Farrah Fawcett. That's pretty much what we've gathered from this conversation. And don't pick your nose in public because it's disgusting and it makes me ill. Don't make me make this face to the internet. That's just gross. If I were German, I would do this. That's what I learned from Inglorious Bastards. Is that if you're hanging out with a bunch of Nazis, don't do this because that's how they'll know you're an American or a British person and they'll kill you. It's really bad that I do this in this chair because it swivels and I just want to go like this all day. Whee! Such a child.